Hey guys, um, so probably see something a little different today. I got the uh, new hand grips in, the bar end mirrors in. Those came today. I don't know, and I hate to say this because I've already bought them and they're on the bike. I don't know if I like them. Not quite sure. I had to tighten the snot out of that. I mean, it's freaking tight, not just tight, like stupid tight. And um, all it has is a, a rubber grommet in there with a, a nut. And um, it's just crushing that grommet to you know squeeze it against the internal part of the uh, handlebars. And um, I don't know. We'll see if. We'll see if they work. I'm not, I'm not certain if I'm gonna end up liking them long-term. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just buy some bar ends and slam those in there and put these up as used on eBay or something and then um, purchase some mirrors that'll fit in the actual mirror mounts. Um, so, we'll see. I'm not 100% sold on them. And I've got them swung out wide, um, mainly because I know from experience that that's a little bit better for me. You can see I made a little mess over there, unpacking stuff. Because I also got my pegs in. These are adjustable. These are, um, they call them Shinobi, I think, Shinobi style foot pegs. Uh, they adjust out like an inch and a half from stock and um, this is the adjuster part that it uses. So I'm going to be assembling those. I'll do that on camera so you guys see that process. Probably edit it, you know, so it's not so lengthy, but in any case, we'll see how these work out too. I, I don't know. I mean, they seem kind of small to me. And they're ultra light, like stupid light. And they're aluminum. So that may be a problem. I don't know if you guys have ever used these before. Let me know whether or not they worked out for you. But um, we'll get these put together and then we'll come back when I'm putting them on the bike. So I'll put these together, get them adjusted how I think they're supposed to go, put them on the bike, and then. Next time we'll come back, we'll, we'll also have everything buttoned up on top. I uh, took all that off again. So let me tell you a little story. I went to go get a wing nut for the all thread that's down there. And um, took this in, because this thread's right on. It threads on and it's on there. But I went to the hardware store to grab what I needed. And I don't have, um, I forget what it's called, a thread, a thread gauge to uh, check what thread that is. It's just all thread, so I assumed it was, you know, standard standard thread. But I took that in with me and uh, stuck it on um, a piece of all thread that they had there at the store and threaded right on. I was like, oh great, now I know exactly what thread and pitch is supposed to be. So I bought a wing nut, stainless, with some nice fat washers to lever, or to, to put it, put on there with it doesn't freaking fit. So, odds are that's not even really threaded on there either. It's just somehow catching it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I don't know, I may, I may ride to the hardware store without the cover on and just talk to the clerk and say, I'm gonna go in and out of the store and find a wing nut that fits that, and then I'm gonna buy the one I come back with. I think that's a plan. At least that's what I'm gonna to try to do. We'll see what they say. <laughs> I don't know. It means telling me to get bent. All right, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Um, like I said, when I come back, we'll be installing these actually on the bike. I'm not gonna put you the pain of me trying to figure out how to put these together. All right, guys, back in a minute. Okay, and we're back. Um, I went ahead and did that other side just so I kind of knew what the heck I was doing before I wasted you guys' time. 
trying to demonstrate and learn at the same time. <clears throat> um, so I got to say that in terms of, if I get it in the, there it is, if I can get it in the shot, um, in terms of the uh, build quality of the piece, um, very, very, very tight fit. So everything is machined really well. Um, it's got these, I forget what those are called. Keyways, I guess, I don't know. Um, and these pins that you install into the, uh, the piece that goes on the bike, uh, the hinge. And um, <clears throat> you place those in there to line everything up the way you want it. And then you install it. So it's actually down there, I apologize. It's already on the bike. So I'm gonna install these two pins. Uh, the directions say two, I tried three or four and because it came with six. And I thought, well, I'll try three. Sorry, I told you four. Try three on the other side and it wouldn't line up. So I thought, oh, well, they aren't kidding about two in each. And I'm assuming that is because, um, you know, you might lose one or something like that. But these little pins go on the piece down there in just two slots opposite of each other. And then you put thread locker on this little screw, which is an Allen. Put the screw in there and get it lined up the way you want it. I'm just installing it dead up so it's in line with the um, foot peg pin. So it's gonna end up being kind of at that angle. Uh, and hopefully giving my foot a little bit more room away. So I should be sitting a little bit more, I don't know, it should help with uh, keeping my knee from getting all cramped up in there. So, and that's, that is kind of a, an inherent issue with the XB9. Um, the XB12 or 13, I can't remember which, I think it's a 13, lengthened out the chassis a little bit, the frame, and, and uh, helped with that. Uh, rider seating and the posture uh, called the tuck and loosened it up a little bit and apparently made the riding a little bit better. Um, so there might be a mod for the seat to maybe angle it down to change the tuck. I, I don't know. We'll visit that later. But but at present, you know, I've got these pegs um, and uh, we'll get this thing set up. And then we're going to start it up and I'm going to go for a ride. So the next thing you'll see is me starting it up and, and riding off. All right, let's get this going. So like I said, you just pick two of these slots for these pins opposite of each other. At least that's the way I'm reading the directions. And I'm, it, it's a tight fit. I may actually... find different slots to put them into. I mean, really, really tight. And that's, I think that's good that it's like that. And then it says to use blue or red Loctite. I've got blue. That's what I'm gonna use. And uh, not gonna go crazy with it. Just gonna put enough on there to block the thread. Because um, I have to say, once this thing is on, that is to say, once you've got it screwed in, it's like, it's a tight, very positive fit. So I will definitely give that to the manufacturer who created this. Let me uh, double check and make sure I've got this angle right before I start bolting things down. I am slightly off, so it's not exactly in line with the pin. It's slightly, it's maybe one notch down. If I can get it to line up. Double check again. Always double and even triple check.
So this one over here, this is a little bit troubling. And maybe that's because I've got the pins in different slots than the other side. I think that may be the issue. Um, it's not lining up identical to the other side. So I'm thinking maybe if I change the position of these pins to different slots, I can get uh, this to line up the way I want it to. So I'm going to give that a shot, put them in the opposite slots. And let me just say, these guys are tight. So once they're in, they're in. When I, when I put three in, because I thought that would be three better than two, yeah, they did not want to come out. That one, anyway, so. Kind of a little bit worried there. So while I'm working on this, uh, you guys be thinking of maybe some different products that I need to look at. Make sure you comment below so that um, I'm aware of it. Because I am interested in, you know, upgrades. I love aftermarket parts because um, a lot of times there's an improvement. There we go. That's lined up. That's right. So, go ahead and uh, put this guy in real fast. Um, it does use two different Allen sizes. Uh, I didn't even bother checking which size was which. but. This one down here on the peg is a larger size Allen than the one going in to the uh, hinge. Uh, I guess that makes sense. It would seem to me that they both undergo the same stress. But what do I know? I'm not an engineer, so. And that's it. It's on there. Um, don't like how floppy that is. But you know it is what it is. Put the E-clip in. C-clip. Okay. All right. So let me pause the video. I'm gonna have the seat on it. We'll drop the uh, bike off of the uh, stand and um, see what the posture is like with everything buttoned up. I tried it with you know just kind of resting my foot on there. It seemed like it was right. Um, I may be changing a position yet again on this, which is not a big deal, but it is what it is. All right, so we'll pause the video, come back to that. Not sure if I'm in this shot or not, but it um, feels a lot better. I don't know if you can see my foot, but um, much, much better. My toe, the, the uh, crease of my toe the joint is right in the correct spot. And I'm not even wearing riding shoes. These are just, you know, obviously Nikes. But uh, even with these on, so if I go to work, I'll be wearing these shoes to go to work. Everything's right. And then on the brake side, um, but the uh, brake lever is right on the, just, to, just in front of the ball of my foot. So, not on the ball of my foot, but just in front of it. So, I think this will do. The good news is, these are adjustable. So if I don't like it, I don't feel like things are right, I can always change it. Just put more lock tight on it and uh, lock and roll. So I'm gonna go for a quick ride around the block um, and uh, test everything out, make sure it feels good while in motion. Um, now that I'm on the bike with the mirrors installed, um, they're gonna have to grow on me, to be honest. I don't dislike them, but I'm not in love with them, that's for sure. Uh, I'll be able to see behind me. I mean, they're super, super crisp, and I like the polarization on them, but uh, yeah. Now, the, the uh, Renthal grips feel 10,000 times better than the Scott grips that were on there. And I like Scott just fine, but these are awesome. Feels so good. So 
All right, guys. Talk to you later.